Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday the Bar. I'm Tony Jakes. This is Jimmy English joining us once again. We've got singles action here for you. Uh, Dave Davies Jr. taking on Bo Dallas, uh, who had a hard-fought battle with Uncle Chuckles at Elimination Chamber that he definitely lost the footage of. We are very sorry about that. Don't know what happened. Uh, I think it was probably Leprechauns or Aurora Borealis. I've, ne I've yet to heard confirmation on the rumors. Um, but anyway, Dave Davies Jr. taking on Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania, which is later in the month, which we will definitely have footage of, for sure, uh, for the Universal title. And uh, do a little, little, little warm-up against Bo Dallas. And, uh, Mr. English, what do you think of your, your tag team partner's chances against, against the Eater of Worlds at the show of shows? Well, I've, I've said this countless times, but I believe Dave Davis Jr. I believe he can do anything he puts his mind to, except confirm his true parentage. But outside of that, he's unstoppable. He's the juggernaut. Wrestling. He is. Oh, well, okay. Wow. All right. I'm gonna add that to his accolades. The juggernaut of wrestling. Gonna, gonna see. Um see some t-shirts about that maybe with that one video oh my goodness Bo Dallas impressive strength there no. well uh Bo seems to have recovered somewhat you know uh, decently for having just fought a war with with Uncle Chuckles who is again not to be trucked with oh into the cover here one two Ooh. I imagine he's channeling some of his anger at the crown in this battle the, yeah, the, he, he, I can't confirm he did lose that elimination chamber, but it was one heck of a heck, heck of an effort. Absolutely, I was. Oh, what right else? Grab the ropes. Yeah, Davy Senior sees it, and uh, I'm not gonna let his supposed son get get away with you know some of that stuff. So, I have to rethink the strategy here. I'll tell you what, that elimination last week it was spectacular. I went out partying for four days straight after this. It was, well, that was just, it that. was last night, the Luminous Chamber, so I don't know. Did you, did you fall into some kind of time rift? Did you seem like four days? Or did you take that, that drug from the Judge Dredd thing, the slow-mo? Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm, as a, um, as a famous, well-known, um, sports man, I can confirm that I never take any form of substances. Oh, okay. But I will say... I will say that I was high off my tits. <laughs> of course, yeah, on life, on life, as as as, as, life. as so many are want to do nowadays. Oh, and there it is, Dave Davies' revolution. This is where he gains control. And will he finally open his father's life? It's been two years. hasn't hasn't happened yet. Maybe it'll happen if he actually he gets a belt. Who knows? Oh my goodness. Yep. Well, oh, gonna. Throw a little bit of a tantrum there, and I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, oh, but Ellis blocks it. Oh boy. Oh, into a big belly to belly. Suplex. These are some. Being one of the, one of the regular sized chaps in the Devoir. I have to say, these are some huge men. <laughs> oh boy. Cover, one, two, ooh. Two count. My heart skips a beat every time that Thomas happens. I mean, I know, of course, he'll come out for Thomas because it's Dave, Dave Davis Jr. But. And we'll Still. escape that front face lock and go. What else? Catching the snapmare. Here. Ooh. Wrench in the neck now. Oh my goodness. Ooh, corner. Oh. Ooh, up top and elbow Dallas. Ooh, big move here. Going for it. Backwards hug. Oh my god! Oh, good lord! Super back, back suplex, super backplex. I don't, I don't know. Cover, one, 
two. Ooh, kicking out is Dave Davis Jr. Oh, 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 do a little take down there. Take to recover. One, two. It's two. This crowd starting to come alive. These two men in this, in this pitched combat. One, one of them is trying to earn the father's love. The other one, the next man. Indeed, and there's a, there's a revolution for you. If you wanted a revolution, well, I gave you two. Ooh, looking up the leg. And again, the good man here. And the targeted offense here, and oh boy, oh, oh, oh my goodness, big wheelbarrow slam. There's nothing oh. a lot more than watching Dave pick someone up just to throw them back down. I'm up, it's my plan. Oh, still a little move. That's the bow dog. Oh my goodness. Just cracks him right open. Yeah, One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Just beating him with yeah. his own move is Dave Davies Jr. I have won 50 bucks. There you go. I'm so related yeah. to the match, of course. Gambling's Smart. wrong, of course, kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, here comes Bray Wyatt. And I think uh, having some words. Dave Davies Jr. Re ready to ready, ready him go, and Bray Wyatt not having it. We still meet in the coming weeks quite a bit. Uh, let's see how, where this rivalry goes. Stay tuned for this match. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in once again. We've got Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor taking on former IC Champion The Miz. And oh, oh no. Oh, God, he's back. Oh, and he's Aren't in The, the Miz's children. corner. Yet uh, Uncle Chuckles is, is in The Miz's corner. And I guess he's determined to mess with Finn Balor, the, you know, in, keeper of the demon, I guess. Don't watch is it the only thing worse than having Uncle Chuckles fight you in the room. Have yeah, it's, it's gotta be it's gotta be unnerving. I'm not sure if it's necessarily a benefit. To either side. Right, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Running power bomb from Finn Balor. I'm not sure what he was going to do, but. Figured it out. Oh, the is going after the Cabeza de la Dina. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Remember that figure four leg lock? The shades of Ric Flair taught him to move himself. Look at his neck. Struggling around and Finn. Oh, trying to turn it over, reversing the pressure, and oh, the Miz is in trouble. He's got to break the hold. They won't be walking straight for a while, like Ooh. me last night. Another fire back there. Oh, the corner. Oh, Finn Balor firing right back. It's two men going, going tip the tat here. Oh, Miz. Oh, inverted DDT. One, two. Ooh, just kicking out. No, I hate, I, I hate distract from the match itself. Right. The big guys don't know which team I made, but that crown. He's just standing there, menacingly. And, oh, Finn taking the turnbuckle off. That's a little bit of dirty business. And uh, see, that comes into play. And oh, oh, and the ropes. And oh, oh. Tyler's getting involved in the match, grabbing the leg of Finn and. Day Day Sr. yelling at him, possibly going to throw him out, and Miz takes full advantage. We can only hope he will. Look, he didn't take that leg off like he took that kid's arm off that one time. Oh, wait, no, that was another crowd. One, 
two. Ooh. Two counts. He got Miz. On the attack. I believe he's left. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone, which is actually when he's at his most dangerous. He can't shoot. He could be anywhere. So let's get back to back. Uh, Mr. English, well, I, I, I advise we get back to back. That way we can cover 180 degrees between the two of us. We'll keep an eye on the match. And uh, hopefully nothing bad happens. Yep. I've, uh, I've got this cross. And um, these silver bullets. I don't know if they work. But one can only hope. Yeah, well, hopefully, the, hopefully just regular bullets work and the silver will just be a nice touch. Oh my god, Finn coming alive. Ooh, a forearm shot. And, oh, sling blade. Look at the speed. It was impressive. Able to defeat Kalisto for that icy title. Using that speed and the power. Oh, but Miz firing right back ever the crafty veteran. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Finn has been busted open. I believe at this point the uh, medical team has got very good at cleaning up that exact injury. I believe so. Oh my goodness. Running step up into Gary in close range. Now Finn. I'm going to take advantage. But oh, the Miz. Cracks the arm. Oops, going around. Oh, oh my. Oh, skull crushing finale. Flips him over into the cover. One. Two. Three, and that's it. That interference by Uncle Tuggle is costing Finn Balor a loss to the Miz. Would you say it was Uncle Chuckle's intervention that changed the outcome of this match? I, uh, I'm not sure if it changed the outcome, but it certainly swung things definitely in the Miz's favor. And, uh, Miz is going to bask in this, this victory over the IC title, and Finn has got to have revenge on his mind. Uh, but definitely. The, the clown has poked the demon, as, as the fa famous saying goes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to SmackDown, but it looks like Lucas Gospel of the Terrors has something to say to this crowd and us at home. Uh, it'd be interesting what he does to take the mic. You know, he's got a, him and Trevor Titan have been tagged to for quite some time, holding on to it with very little competition. Uh, maybe he's here to address that. Maybe he's here to just talk some smack, which is probably what's going to happen. If there was ever a moment in time, a singular point you could point to and say this, this is the dawn of a new era, it's this moment, it's me, coming out here, making a challenge that will shake the foundation of the, the bad WWE universe forever. I've seen the landscape of the WWE, I see where it's headed, and I don't like it. It's not a good environment for me. I need a place where I can be a professional and plow my ways. But I can't seem to do that here. I can't do that because there's a certain individuals making this place difficult for me. But I'm not here to whine like there's nothing to do or to be done or doing doing or diddly do. Even though you don't deserve it, Rando Carblazian, I'll give you the privilege of being defeated by yours truly. But don't get too excited, because as honored as I know you feel about sharing the same ring space as someone like me, know that excitement will quickly turn to panic when you realize you're in a whole world of hurt.
All right, Rando's coming up the steps. Three, two. Y'all came out here to play tonight. Hell yeah, I love this energy right now. I've got to say, the WWE Universe is half the reason I came out. The other half is to stop this sorry sack from boring all of you any longer with his diddly do's and diddly don'ts. I'm not really sure why you thought it was a good idea to come out here interrupting me, but that's a problem to be dealt with at a little time. Since you're out here, you might as well take a seat and take note while I show you and everyone here exactly why I'm the greatest superstar in the world. Feel free to take notes. I provided a notepad and some pencils right behind you on the stage. Almost like I expected you. But not really. The way I see it, I'm doing these people a favor. I'm sparing them from your petulant whining and posturing. And I don't need to take notes to know what petulant and posturing is. I can see by that look on your face that maybe you don't know, but I do know. And it's what you're doing. Hold on. Before we go any further, please provide us the source. Because I'm not sure that thing it means what you think it means. Anyway, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to put yourself in my sights? Because I'm telling you right now, if you continue down this path, there is no turning back. It's sort of like the dark side in Star Wars. But, but, but in wrestling, it's different than Star Wars. But we are kind of warriors like that. Never mind, you. I'm going to make this really simple for you. No more interruptions. No more insults. No more talk. Actually, a little more talk, because then we'd be silent. I want a match. Just one match. Because that's all it's going to take to show you who the best superstar is around here. And unfortunately for you, it's me. It's me. The rando double... Uh, not... Uh, see? I'd be happy to fight you after you've proven yourself worthy of a fight. Because frankly... I haven't seen it yet. You're still too amateurish for me. That's weird, amateurish. I mean, yeah. Go out, fight some other superstars, and really show me what you've got. Maybe then, I'll consider a match with you. And plus, you ain't glistening enough, guy. I think we've heard all we need out of you, thanks. You see, the truth is only the only superstar that these people paid their hard-earned money to see is standing before you. So do us all a favor and disappear while I give the Dubai WWE Universe what they really want. Which is not you. In case you, you know, in case you weren't clear. We got to fight tonight. It ain't happening, period. I gotta get my hair did. End of story. There's no happy ending for you. Your princess is in another castle. That's video game reference. In case you never played video games. So just stop. Stop trying. Turn around and walk out of here. Go on. Get out. Go on, get it. Go on, get it. You've shown everyone that a big, what a big man you are. But big men come and go in this business. You really want to be a big man? Then you know what you gotta do. And when you're ready to step up, you know where to find me. So you go on get it. Little dog. All right, well, there's two heated words exchange, but they're not going to fight tonight. Uh, let's see what comes of this. Maybe they'll fight next week, perhaps? Stay tuned for SmackDown.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. Got a got a promo for you here from our WWE champion, Luke Harper. He's got to address some stuff about some things. You know, he's, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I haven't heard from this man in a while. He's been defending the title, but we'll have to see what he has to say here tonight. I could be on a date right now. I could be with my boys at the club. Instead, I'm here. I'm here to tell you all how ridiculous the WWE is. So let's get this going and then get on with our lives. I'm feeling so good. I want to share a poem with all of you. Rose the red, violet the blue. I'm the best in the world, and so are none of you. <laughs> Wasn't that great? Not only am I an excellent superstar, I'm also a great poet. Out of all the superstars on the roster, I've got to say, I am the most underrated. I put asses in seats. I put dollar signs in the company quarter reports. I am the WWE. Y'all don't have to thank me, but you won't be able to ignore me any longer either. Finally, I'd also like to make it known that I'm currently seeking a personal servant. If you or anyone you know is interested in doing as I say when I say it, you call me. I really don't mind if you don't support my announcement. It is what it is, and I'll make it happen regardless. And that's just what I do. All right, well, that was uh, interesting and sort of pointless, I guess. Um, seems like our champion has got a little bit of a full head. Let's see if someone can take him, can take him down a peg. Uh, just, uh, stay tuned for our next slash first match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SmackDown. We've got tag team action. Oh, a little dissension in the ranks between Team Naba. Uh, a little argue about who's gonna who's gonna face off first, and looks like Charlie Dean's gonna have his way. And Matthias Sin taking to the outside, taking on the Usos here, who are seem to be in way better competitive spirit and uh, teamwork uh, attitude right now. Oh my! Oh, impressive double underhook suplex. Uh, Usos taking it to him currently here in this match. Nothing. There's nothing more spectacular than watching a ta tag team like this. Indeed. Nope. Ooh, off the ropes. Oh, catches him with a forearm. It's Charlie Danger in trouble here. But I do wonder why Charlie Danger was adamant to start when he has not made a great impression. Oh, oh. Danger unable to capitalize and. Oh boy, going up top. Oh my goodness, a little flying headbutt action. From Jey Uso. Goes to tag in Jimmy. Oh. James Davis Sr. There we go. One. Two. Ooh. Two count. Devastating for too far after everything they've proven in their strength so far. Yes. Indeed, able to uh, able to fend off the New Day at the Elimination Chamber in that match. You didn't get to see, but we definitely saw it. It was definitely a thing. Oh boy! Oh no! Oh, big Samoan drop from the top. I I, I wonder if Charlie Danger is just, Charlie Danger is just drained after his spectacular feat in the tag team elimination against oh, Finally he tags in with Sin and oh! <coughs> a little miscommunication at the station. Sin. Oh! Oh boy. Oh man, I've seen it once before. Gonna see it again. Oh! Big back suplex right on the apron. From a deadlift. 
Oh boy. Oh, big gut wrench suplex. Oh, right in the announce is that table. Jimmy just, is that Jimmy just sat in there watching? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, not a not one. Well, he doesn't want to get disqualified. It's definitely going to happen. But Dave Davies Senior is is counting him, counting him out right now, and we got to got to got to count of ten to get back in the ring. By uh working out some aggression, maybe some frustration on Jay. I wonder if this has anything to do with the argument pre-game that they had. Oh, both men back into the ring. Charlie and Pius. Indeed, yeah, perhaps. I don't, want to, I don't want to start rumors, but it is, it is within the realm of possibility. Who says make the tag? Much needed. Oh. That is a hulking beast of a man to bring down. That is pretty in type Charlie Danger. Oh. Oh my goodness, big back suplex. Cover here. One, two. Ooh. I feel like this match has just started and yet Team Dubai has spent so many times on the floor on their back. Yeah. Oh boy, spinning them around. Oh my goodness. Same. Oh, atomic drop. And again. One, two, Ooh, two count. I'll say this, I believe in Team Dubai. No matter how bad a start they can have, they can bring this back. Jimmy going to work here. Let's see what he's got into the corner. Oh, little tag team maneuver here. Oh, setting him up. Oh, big flying forearm. No defense. There's nothing you can do against tag like that. One, two, ooh, two count. Just gonna get up. Continue to fight. Or not. Ooh, kicks him out. Oh, 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 pops him up for the sun drop, but Charlie Danger fighting out of it with his big elbows. Like I said, trying to get the crowd behind his partner. Trying to rally here, but oh, Charlie Danger with the jawbreaker. Oh, back wheel trip. Oh, my goodness. Not wasting any time. Into the, in the corner now. Could this be? Ooh, makes the tag. Ooh. Firing shots. Oh, good lord. Ooh, big Yakuza kick. Ooh. And a body press. Dias in. Into the cover. Quickly. One. Two. Ooh. Two count. That was close. Yeah, perhaps if, if Charlie Dane, Oh, sorry, not Charlie Dane, Dave Davies Sr. was in a little bit better position. Might have been the end of the match there. Oh my goodness, corner exploder. Oh, oh. and uh, J Jay getting involved? I'm not sure. It's a J excuse me, Jimmy getting involved. Ooh, that is the, who is, the, who, is, why did that, how, how is that, was that legal? I'm not even sure. Well, as we all know, as we all know, Dave Davies Sr. does have a lazy eyes. So he might have just not been able to focus on Jay entering the ring. Oh boy, now we got a little, a little double team action here. This is definitely not legal. Oh, and oh boy. Ooh. This is nasty. Dave, David Senior is just standing there watching. And there's such a thing as letting the boys play, but I mean, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta force the rules sometime. Cut the fires. He's trying his best. And he's Ooh. getting some hits on. Right, this two on one this advantage he has here. Oh, it, will, it will save his brother. Ooh. Okay, now he's just watching him. There we go. Oh, but my Thias is able to turn around with that cross body. Impressive aerial agility from the big man. Everybody's count getting he awful might, high he here. Really should be making himself back into the ring there. Oh, makes it in just in time for the 10 count. 
J going after him. Jimmy's still down on the floor. There he comes. Looks out of breath. This is wildly. Oh, Matthias in blocks. Oh, big clubbing strike. Oh, turns it around. Arm drag. Corner. Oh boy. Oh boy. Shades of their father, Rikishi. Oh, big hip splash. Up in the ropes here. Oh, it's right up. Oh, big. Big splash. Oh, one, two. Oh, Dias in kicking out. Charlie Andrew looking like he's hesitating on saving his partner. I'm not sure what that's about. It's interesting that Charlie Danger had to step into the ring just to watch his partner. Yeah, it didn't go to break up the tag or anything. Yeah. Jay tags in Jimmy. Coming in. in. I might have to speak to these two. The next time I see them about this match. It's... I'm picking up some hints of some drama between the two members of Team Dubai here. Oh, oh, flips over. Ooh, DDT. Yeah, you can't have any of that, especially when you're on top, because that's just uh, it's just a target to for others to, to pinpoint. Can't expose any sort of weakness when you're at the top, because it makes it easier for you to fall. Indeed. Oh. Oh my god, oh no. Thias in. Starting to gain something back here and going to the crowd, getting some getting some energy. Then he's fine, he's recovering and covering his what happened to Usos. In, in this situation, if I was for Thias here, I would have tagged in Charlie Danger and had to give myself a bit of a reason. Dude, oh, but playing something here. We do this. Got some problems with the safe. wiring. Gonna see a... Sh oh, there it is. Short circuit. Fantastic. Into the cover. One, two, three, and that's it. Yeah. Charlie Andrew going in to block the, the, the break attempt that wasn't even there. Despite the, the consternation, Tina Ba victorious over the Usos. Okay. Yep. I think they just this hyped about the win. They're all just proud. They're all feeling good. Seems like everything's okay, but uh, you know, maybe some lingering lingering things, maybe to be resolved, perhaps Any even next week or later in the show. No, definitely next week, probably. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't be a hero. Goodbye to you all. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Goodbye. Good. Good. That was good.